Old French was a Romance language, spoken in France between the middle of the 9th century to the early 14th century. It derived from the Vulgar Latin, spoken in the Roman province of Gaul from the 2nd century BC. After several Germanic invasions beginning in the 5th century, the Vulgar Latin of Gaul developed into a language known as Gallo-Roman, a combination of Vulgar Latin and the Germanic languages of the tribes who invaded Gaul. Not much is known about Gallo-Roman. One record of its use can be found in the Oaths of Strasbourg, a pact made in 842 by the king of West Francia, Charles the Bald, and the king of East Francia, Louis the German, against their brother, Lothair I, the king of Middle Francia. By the middle of the 9th century, in what one day would be called France, Gallo-Roman had split into two more distinct dialect groups, the Long Doi dialect in the north and the Long Doc dialect in the south. By the 12th century, the Long Doi dialects had split into several more distinct accents, including Picard in the northeast, Anglo-Norman in England and Normandy, and Francienne in the Ile de France. The Francienne dialect is often seen as the standard Old French. Much like today, the Ile de France was the political heart of France in the medieval period. It was home to Paris, not only the biggest city in France, but also the biggest in Europe, with 200,000 inhabitants in the 14th century, around 2.5 times more than the population of London at that time. The Ile de France was also part of the lands which the French king controlled directly, as opposed to the rest of France, which was controlled on his behalf by the aristocracy. This gave the Ile de France a permanent position at the heart of the French state. Due to the importance of the Ile de France, the Francien dialect went on to supersede the other Languedoc dialects for political reasons and became Middle French by the start of the 14th century. By the start of the 17th century, Middle French had itself become modern French. The roots of Old French can be seen in its vocabulary. The vast majority of the words of Old French, some 90%, come from the Vulgar Latin of Gaul. For example, the Old French word for life, V, is the same as in Middle and Modern French. In Early Old French, however, between the middle of the 9th century and the late 11th century, the word appeared as vide. This came from the Vulgar Latin word vitam which itself came from the Latin word for life, vita. A few dozen Old French words come from the original Celtic of the Gauls. The Old French word for plough, charru, also spelt the double R, is again the same as in Middle and Modern French. The word comes from a Latin word for a chariot, caruca, itself from another Latin word for wagon, carus. However, Carus was itself borrowed from a word in Gaulish, the Celtic language of the Gauls, which meant wagon, likely the word caros. A few hundred old French words come from the languages spoken by the Germanic invaders of the 5th century, such as the French word for war, guerre. This word appears in the same form in both Middle and Old French, although in Old French it had many different spellings. The word comes from a medieval Latin word, for war, guerra, also spelt werra. This Latin word was borrowed from a word in Frankish, the language of the Germanic tribes who invaded Gaul, which meant confusion and disorder, likely the word werra. Finally, Old French contained a few hundred Latin loanwords. These words are separate from the Vulgar Latin, which forms the basis of modern French, as these words were introduced much later than the 2nd century BC. Many of these words are academic or religious, as they were borrowed from medieval Latin scholars and clerks. For this reason, these words often have their roots in ancient Greek. For example, the Old French word for church, église, which is the same in Middle French and in Modern French, save for an accent for pronunciation, comes from medieval Latin ecclesia, which meant both church and an assembly of people. This word itself comes from an ancient Greek word ecclesia, also meaning both church and assembly. Old French is also an important language in its own right. For example, it has great historical significance. Old French was one of the languages used by Christian sources to record the events of the early Crusades. 
For this reason, some of the most vivid and powerful prose in the entire medieval world was written in Old French. For example, a knight and crusader, Geoffrey de Villadroin, who came from the county of Champagne in France, wrote a chronicle around 1210 AD entitled De la Conquête de Constantinople, in which he describes his involvement in the Fourth Crusade, which took place between 1202 and 1204. At the time, this might have sounded like Tuitzil, qui se croiserwent, it ferwent de service dur, en a en lost, serwent quitte de tos les pégiers, qui l'avront fait, tant y serwent qu'en fait, pour ce que, si pardons fouisicrons, si son esmurent, molt liqueurs des gens, et molt son croiserwent, pour ce que, Li pardons er sicrons. I can't stress enough that that was only an approximation. We can't know for certain how the text was pronounced at the time. Old French pronunciation is a hugely complicated subject in its own right. But put simply, all the syllables of old French words tended to be pronounced, which differs to modern French, where you don't tend to pronounce the ends of words. The importance of this extract can be seen when it is translated. A loose translation could be, all who should take the cross and serve in the host for one year would be delivered from all the sins they had committed and acknowledged in confession. And because this indulgence was so great, the hearts of men were much moved, and many took the cross for the greatness of the pardon. If you want to learn more about Old French, and probably understand it better than I do, I've left links to the books I used to make this video and links to a number of really good online resources in the description below. Thanks for watching.